Hey guys, it's Josh with Bubba Cards, and today I'm checking out a card connection in Newhall, California. These guys have a ton of wax packs from all eras, different years, uh, pretty much anything you, can, you could want from the 90s, 2000s, up to the current age. Uh, they got a lot of uh, vintage sports cards in their cases, a lot of singles. Um, they also have Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, supplies. Uh, here's, here's a look at a little bit of what they got. And then he changed lanes over in front of you. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> oh, so when he says, Honey, who's Willie's from where? Why? Okay. Right. I had a fun time looking around a card connection. They had a little bit of everything, uh, a bunch of different wax packs and boxes that I looked through. Uh, I picked up this one here, this 1992 Topps baseball card box. Um, I don't have one of these in my collection, so I may keep it. I may bust it at a later date. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But I picked it up for 20 bucks. I haven't seen one around for a while. Uh, so I thought that was a pretty good price. And, yeah, we'll see what happens with it. I also, I don't know if you saw this in the video, they had these grab boxes, almost like grab bags. or But they had uh, different sports. There's 400 card, card boxes for $4.00. Um, I decided to pick one up. I usually pick one of these up every time I see a grab bag or something like that from a card shop. Normally, they are pretty crummy, but I can't help myself. And for four bucks, you know, what's what's the harm? So let's go ahead and uh, pop this one open now and see if there's anything cool inside there. But you can see, you can see the Allen & Ginter Ichiro on top. Most likely the best card in here, but, uh, you know, we'll see. And you can see inside there, it looks like a little bit of mixture there, which is cool. And this thing is packed really tight. All right, get a couple of these out of here and we'll get to working. All right, so to start off with, looks like we got some uh, the, the normal uh, junk wax era junk. Got some 93 Donners here. We'll see if there's, hey, there's Larry Walker. We'll see if there's any other good guys or any hidden gems. There's 400 cards in here for four bucks, so not a bad deal. Um, like I said, it's probably mainly junk, but we'll flip through it quickly and see if we can find something good. Dave Winfield, Dennis Eckersley. There's a Mark McGuire, Andres Galarraga. So we've got some uh, 90 tops. Back to uh, the Glasgow rookie. Back to the 93 Donners. Chris Sabo, Lenny Dykstra. Cal Ripken. So it does look like there's a few stars mixed in here. It's not just completely commons. All right, we've got some of the newer tops. At least one. Back to some old Donners. So it's 94 Donners. Pacific collection. Those cards are pretty crummy. George Springer, Topps opening day card. Lindor. All right, 
so it's nice. It looks like there's a mix of some newer cards in with some older junk wax stuff. Nothing good there. Let's pull another stack. All right. Oh, this is cool. We got some. I forget what year this is. This is 2012 tops. I don't really have very many of these. I wasn't collecting then, but I am trying to collect the set there. That's nice. There's a Wade Miley rookie. So these would be nice to have to put in the set. There's an old Wade Davis card. That's cool. One of his earlier ones. Strasburg. And Stanton card. Big Poppy. So I do like that there are, it looks like they haven't like picked out all the stars completely. So Mike Moustakis, Paul Goldschmidt. You never really know what to expect with some of these uh, grab bags, but like I said, it's hard for me. Every time I go in a card shop and I see one of these, I usually pick them up. Uh, some card shops have really nice ones, and it always surprises me what's in there. Uh, most of the time, it's just junk that they're trying to get rid of, which is kind of understandable for a couple bucks. But, you know, 400 cards for $4. I'm not going to complain too much. And it does it is fun to kind of look through them. Dexter Fowler for the, for the Rockies. Drew Pomerantz, rookie. And if I miss anything, let me know. Sometimes I don't always catch the short prints or uh, things like that in some of these newer sets. Stack out of the box. Back to some junk era. Junk, 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 junk. Wild thing, Mitch Williams. Junk, junk, junk. Oh, the 90 Donner set. I, I popped a lot of those as a kid, and that's one of the just ugliest and worst sets today, but it does bring back some good memories of being a kid. And I think we used to get those like three or four for a dollar at, uh, at Walmart. It's a 1981 Topps Greg Luzinski. That's cool. And they don't didn't let a Griffey Jr. rookie card slip through the cracks in here. Bob Ojeda. This is the uh, 1983 Fleer. Um, I do like that set with the Sandbird Boggs and Tony Gwynn rookies. Some old score. Some more Donruss. I'll try and quickly fly through the crap here. There's one more stack to get through. And yeah, usually these uh, junk box or grab bags, grab boxes, most of the time they, they do suck, but this one's okay. I mean, I had a few stars in here, nothing, nothing big or anything, but kind of fun to look at. Most of these cards here, I just throw into a, a big box that I'll give to my nephew. Um, he's a 
pretty little guy, so he's rough on cards, so it doesn't matter. But it's fun to give him these and try to teach him about cards, and then maybe when he gets a little bit older, he'll be into it. All right, stack's running down. We got a few newer ones here. See if we get anything else cool. Joey Votto. There's a little blue border card. 1986 tops. Daryl Boston. There's 1987 tops. There's Ozzie Guillen. This is uh. His uh, official rookies in the 1986 Tops traded, but that's his uh, first regular base card. 1991 Tops. And the last few are 1990 Donners. Nothing of note. So overall, not too bad for four bucks. I'll take it. Um, had a great time at Card Connection today. If you want to stop in there, they have a bunch of these of different sports. Try your luck at them. They also have uh, wax boxes of all kinds, so you can probably find what you're looking for there. And they are uh, super nice guys. And thanks for letting me hang out. Um, glad to hang out with them, and thanks for hanging out with me. We'll see you next time.